From my house to school, it's about almost an hour drive long. You can just see the sunrise and it just shows all of the beautiful colors. And then Shiprock itself, just every time I go outside, it's just like you have this beautiful view of colors. A phrase that I would say describes Shiprock would be a dusty paradise because there is a lot of dirt, but it's like very pretty at the same time. Seniors, just a reminder, your deadline to complete your FAFSA is March 1st. If you need any help completing your FAFSA, please see Ms. Yazi Washburn. I want to become a high school chemistry teacher and I still want to come back to Shiprock and I want to help the community but I also want to like coach maybe like basketball, cross country or softball. I also do year-round sports. I'm in band and I also have straight A's. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, my dream for my future life is becoming a doctor. Like, being a big contributor to community health. I already know that there's going to be some obstacles. Find a way through it or around it. Is succeeding in education important to you? Yes. <laughs> Both my mom and dad didn't get to go to college. Being the first would bring honor and pride to my family. I want to become a nurse and a vet assistant, and someday down the line, I want to come back here, return to my community, and help my elders with their livestock, because nowadays it's very expensive. We are a native tribe. Our people have been here for a while, and it is hard for us being so small to like get out into the open. I think wanting to know that like we can make it out there would be important for us. We don't have much um, stores or places to go around here and you know it makes the students feel like you know Shiprock is all there is in the world when in fact you know there's a whole wide range of things out there beyond the reservations you know that includes going to college. I was told by my guidance counselor that college wasn't an option for me. It has changed greatly. There is a, a complete difference from when I went to school here and the way it is now as far as a uh, career readiness and college support. Seeing banners of schools in, in the uh, Central Commons area, there's always announcements about uh, ACT prep and FAFSA. I didn't grow up hearing about that, but now I hear it as a teacher and it's uh, encouraging. In 2011, when I was a senior, there really was not much support in helping students go to college. But over the years that I've been working here, I've, I've seen a tremendous amount of college and career readiness support. A lot of students have been going on campus tours. Uh, they've been bringing in a lot of college representatives and really just um, laying the foundation and helping the students become ready for college. The ACT boot camps that have taken place here not only has given me the ACT score that I've wanted, but it has also helped me find the motivation and the self-confidence within myself that I couldn't find. ACT waiver fee was a big factor for me because I used the waiver fee for the online course, which helped me prepare for the ACT. I have also gotten the opportunity to be a part of the FAFSA night, as well as having um, a college fair here. We have th roughly about 30 schools and programs who are here to just uh, give the kids an idea of where they want to go to college this year or what they want to do after high school. It's hard to get colleges out here. 
the distance is too far in a, such a rural community. So I had to be on a, like a standby list, but this is great because they're all here and the kids get to actually meet one-on-one -on -one with these representatives. I believe it gives like a lot of our Native American students, all of our indigenous students within the area, um, an opportunity for them to have higher education opportunities with different types of scholarships, give them information on what they can do to pursue their personal um, professional goals. The advice I would give the students is just to communicate with us uh, what, your, what your goals are, what you want to do, follow up on everything from your application to financial aid to your class schedule, uh, just making sure that you have everything set in stone when you do um, go to college. I felt really like a relief kind of, like knowing that these colleges were here to help me and then the questions I had were answered. So just like knowing how I can be able to ex succeed and be accepted into that college. That's what they need. They need somebody to be engaged with them, to get them, you know, to talk to them about college or their future, whatever that may be, and to get them on that path. I hope to continue to see it grow, um, having more representatives come here, um, having more scholarship nights, uh, FAFSA nights. They understand what a FAFSA is, they understand what ACTs are for, they understand how to gain access to apply to schools. I think college career readiness is important in my community because it encourages students that they can get a college education, they can go to college. To have the support um, from college and career readiness coordinators has been truly a blessing to me. You need that support system to get you to where you want to go in life. And knowing that we have that support system makes it a whole lot easier and a lot less to stress about. I am hoping that one day the students that I teach will become teachers, will become lawyers, doctors, good members of society. Education doesn't stop in high school. It's a lifelong process.